Hello. Today I am going to be painting a little ornament for my friend Sky. It's going to be a baby's first Christmas ornament for his cat, Tycho. So, to start off with, I'm going to be painting the entire, well, at least the back and the sides, gray. I'm going to be painting Tycho on the front here. So let's get started. This is um, quite old paint, so I hope it's okay. As you might be able to tell. So let's start with the back side here. It's rather rough, but I think it'll be okay. On the back here, I'd like to write something like baby's first Christmas as well as the year and um, sign it, of course. Sky adopted Tycho this past February. This might not technically be his first Christmas since I think he was about seven months old when he was adopted, but it's his first Christmas in an actual home, so thought we could celebrate it anyway. When we first saw Tycho, um, his name was Miles, but he didn't really look like a Miles. I came up with the name Tycho um, after the band, um, which Sky and, I, Sky and I saw live in DC uh, a few years ago. He just kind of looks like a Tycho. Um, since then, I've come up with quite a few names for him, <laughs> like Tycnado, like a tornado. Um, Tycnado, tomato, tornado, potato. You know how you can get with cats, or any animals actually. How they have a certain name, but after a while it kind of just becomes whatever you're feeling at the moment. going to try and get the edges without smudging the back too much. Tycho is a pretty wild boy cat when Sky first got him. He's since calmed down, so I hope he won't climb their Christmas tree. So Tycho is white with some gray spots. He has a pretty angular face, which is interesting. Ah, here, I'll hold it like that. <laughs> Also recently, Tycho has let uh, his humans dress him up. He has a uh, bow tie collar that he's been wearing for Christmas. I want to stick with an all silver theme, but I believe um, his bow tie right now is green and uh, red. So I'm going to just let this dry now and come back later and do the front side. So now I am going to sketch a little Tycho onto here. And I might write his name down here as well, I'm not sure yet. So here is a little reference picture that I'll be working off of. How big do I want to make it? Let's go to about here. And then... Yeah, something like that. My phone screen is going to keep uh, falling asleep. I 
think for painting this, my strategy will be to um, do the darker parts in acrylic and then the white over top because it looks like how he's patterned um, that uh, like the white fur seems to come up over top of the colorful parts um, though it's not terribly colorful it's like a gray tabby kind of he actually has a little bit of um, buff coloring on the back of his legs but it's hard to tell so I think something like that to start just fill in his uh, facial features a little his ear is doing something kind of funny in the picture here, so I'm just going to make it match the other one a little bit better. I might also go back in with some colored pencils after the acrylic has dried to give it a more fur-like texture. And then I'm going to um, do the bow right here. He has color about until here, and then it switches over to white. It goes a little bit further on this side, it actually goes over his eye. And his eyes are quite large in this um, picture. Hmm, let's see. I don't want him to look uh, too surprised, you know, even though he's pretty surprised in this photo. I almost always draw the right eye a little bit better, no matter what I'm drawing, so I hope this one ends up somewhat even. Hmm. Oops, sorry. <laughs> My uh, hair is getting in the way a little bit. That's pretty good. Here you can see a little pico. Hmm, realizing it's a little bit off center, but I think that's partially because the way these are cut the snowflakes. Um, this doesn't line up with that, but I think it'll be okay either way. So now it's time to paint. Hmm. I'll have to try and find a color that matches him. His eyes are kind of like um, green, yellow, brown. It's a hard color to uh, 
describe. Got some white. This is actually pretty close to his eye color, come to think of it. So let's start with some burnt sienna for his nose. I think I need to switch paintbrushes. This one's a little bit smushed. How about this one? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I can probably cover it up with white, but I, uh, forgot it might be a little difficult to work in a small space like this. That's a little bit easier. So I was going to do the other colors first, but um, I guess I changed my mind. <laughs> it's okay. Luckily, acrylic uh, dries a lot faster than oil paints. I have no patience for oil painting. There's a little bit more color on his nose on this side than this side. I might need to um, go back over some of these spots and clean them back up and make them a little bit thicker. So, um, when Sky first got Tycho, well, he had just, um, lost another cat very suddenly, and a little bit after, um, that was, that had happened, um, I was trying to cheer him up and suggested that we go and see some of the cats at a local shelter, just, um, you know, see how they're doing, maybe pet some of them, see if, uh, you know, eventually he'd be back in the mindset of having another cat. So the very first shelter that we went to, he immediately started bonding with uh, Tycho, who was then Miles, um, and wanted to put an application in on him that very day. Um, when he went to go put an application on Tycho, however, um, it turns out somebody else had already wanted him. So, um, Sky was unable to put an application on him until the other one, um, went through or, um, was rejected. So, that was quite the roller coaster of a few days until, um, he got the call that the other application had fallen through. Um, yeah, so 
glad that Tycho ended up coming home with Sky. This was um, Sky's first boy cat that he's ever owned. I suggested that he go for a boy cat this time after um, having a girl cat last time. Their personalities really are different, you know, girl cats versus boy cats. Tycho was quite the stinker when he was first adopted. He was always getting into trouble. He would always um, steal loaves of bread from on top of the fridge where they kept where they kept it, and he would um, run around their apartment with it. He would always bring in um, bags of bread to his room. It was really funny. Well, I'm sure it was uh, more annoying for Sky, but I thought it was pretty funny. So there's kind of the um, white parts of him for now. Um, I'll go back in and shade a little bit with some gray, but I can start mixing the uh, colors for it here. He has some unusual colors in his um, fur that I'm not quite sure how to mix with the like six colors that I have, but I will do my best. Tycho um, actually had a brother who was also up for adoption at the same time. He had a similar coloring, but he didn't quite um, bond with Skye as well. We were wondering a while back um, if his brother is doing okay. Hopefully he got adopted. Um, the place that we adopted him from, the Humane Society, was pretty close to the school, so hopefully a uh, seven-month-old kitten would be adopted out pretty quickly. So I think this is close to the color that I want. Well, not that I want, <laughs> that he actually is. Again, might just have to, uh, Go back over some of this with colored pencil to get a more accurate color. And then there's a little bit of white. Well, while I have this uh, gray, might as well do a little bit of shading, I guess. This might end up a little bit more of an impressionist style than I was intending, mostly because uh, this isn't the uh, smallest paintbrush. That's okay. My smallest paintbrush is a little bit uh, smushed. Most of these um, supplies have been in storage for a while, so they're not in uh, the best condition. not quite that dark even with a shadow. Let's lighten that up a little. And shade this side a little bit. Mm. 
kind of extends a little bit this way as well. I don't want to rely on the photo too much because I'll just get mad when it doesn't <laughs> turn out exactly like how it looks in the photo, so if I just do an approximation, I think I'll be happier with the end result. I think it'll look like him regardless. Um, just hopefully, uh, he doesn't compare it to the actual photo. Well, Sky, if you're watching this, don't compare it to the actual photo. <laughs> Let's do some of his other colors now. He doesn't exactly have, like, tabby spots. They're definitely gray but they have some, some striping, which is interesting. Here we go. Just going to keep going. Um, I think I'm going to need to add in some different colors in a little bit. Uh, again, kind of hoping that um, my colored pencils will save the day when it comes to making it look actually like fur. Here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, it's getting closer. Also, I haven't uh, seen Tycho in person for a little bit, so my memory is a little bit fuzzy. Just like Tycho is. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. He does have a little bit of um, pink in his ears. So. I'll mix up a pink in a second. More gray. He also has um quite long white eyebrows in this area. Probably will be doing those with colored pencil. I would do them with my white gel pen, but I forgot to pick a new one up today. I was on a mission just to uh, find a little ornament to paint, uh, so I forgot to look for what I was wanting the last time I did an art ASMR. Oh well. I don't think his coloring is that close to his eye on that side. Uh, just fix it with some white. finish up his ears and then I will go ahead and do his eyes. I wish I was more patient um, to do acrylic paintings. They just, um, they take so long to dry. I'm definitely one of those people where it's like if I don't finish a project the same day I start it, I, I can't finish it. Either I don't have the momentum anymore, or I come back and see all the things that are wrong with it. Luckily, acrylic solves that. Uh, I should have just uh, 
gotten a few more acrylic paints. I have a decent um, set somewhere, I just, they've gotten a little bit jumbled throughout the moves. There we go. Needs to be a little bit darker for that part. Okay. Um, still need to do a little bit of um, pink on the insides of his ears. Go ahead and shade a little bit more of those. Okay. Um, I think I'll go back in with the pink a little bit later after I do the eyes because the eyes are a similar color. They're almost exactly like this. Oops. While I'm still in this color though, I've got to give them a little bit of- oh, that's too dark. A little bit of texture in this fur there. A little bit too much texture. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Just take some white. Fix that up. It's a lot easier to um, hide mistakes in acrylic compared to watercolor. Also, I think I paint a little too heavily in watercolor. Oh, here, let me show you what we're up to now. Does it look like a kitty? Hope so. Well, I guess the more important question would be, uh, does it look like Tycho? I hope that Tycho likes to be a part of Christmas and uh, opening presents and stuff. I know he's calmed down a little bit this year, but hopefully he still likes to play. Mm -hmm. There we go. I guess I could um, just paint right over the pupils, but I don't know, I'll leave a little bit out. Definitely need some uh, lighter yellow mixed in. A little bit too dark. But, here we go. Hopefully, it'll look kind of like his eyes. I wish I had a um, more medium green. I mean, this halo green is uh, pretty dark. Like a Kelly green would be nice. That's pretty good then. Mm -hmm. Just to try and blend it out with a little bit of this straight from the tube again. Which color is this? This is yellow ochre. Just blend that a little bit. Oops. Got a little bit dark there. And then I think I will add some shine, shininess with some white. There we go. Just a little bit extra to make it look more dimensional. Oh, forgot to do his little whisker pad bits. Just, just a little bit there and here. Okay. Just wanted to find some of this a little bit more. 
Well, I could probably do this in colored pencil. Whoops, that is too dark. Let's get some white. Luckily, he is white, so kind of just cover up my mistakes like that. Michael right here. Boop. Okay. Get some white. Out of all the colors, um, I always use up white first. Boop. There we go. Now for some pink. He also has a little bit of pink around his mouth, I believe. So won't be mixing these up just for his ears. There we go. Nice. Get a little bit here. Layer it like that. And on this side as well. There we go. Alright, um, uh, might want to go back in with just a little, a little bit more actual pink, you know? Um, yeah, just put a little bit more red in there. I don't want to make it too bright, because it's definitely not like a bright pink. Just a little bit in the shading. And then I might go back over it with a little bit of gray. It's difficult because it's not really like his ears themselves are pink. I think it's just like the blood vessel <laughs> blood vessels kind of showing through his ears when light hits them. Yeah, put a little bit around his mouth. Little pink mouth. So cute. Okay. Just blend it in a little bit. So it's not like straight pink. Okay. A little bit darker. Oops. Don't layer it. Okay. And this side. And I think that's pretty good for the ears. I'll definitely come back in and do his like white ear hair with colored pencil. But for now, I'm going to use Sharpie and do his pupils. And I am going straight on the wood, so I'm not sure how well this will work out. Hmm. Well, <laughs> this marker isn't exactly the newest. There we go, that's a little bit better. Maybe just um, hit some wet paint or something. still be a little bit wet. Might not want to draw on it yet. But obviously, I should just keep forcing it, right? Huh. Well, they're not entirely even, but I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm also going to outline his eyes in this as well. Um, he doesn't have, like, that much eyeliner, but it's definitely, um, more defined than the rest of his fur. Hmm. <laughs> I should have, uh, found a better Sharpie before doing this, but maybe it's just that it's still a little wet. if it's a little bit sketchy, I guess, though. Fits the, uh, loose style of this one. I guess that's not the correct word. Um, sketchy style? Hmm. 
there we go. I'm just a little bit impatient, as you may have guessed. <laughs> I think it really is running out though. It's okay, I only have a little bit more to do. Making lines this thin would be quite difficult with the paintbrush that I was working with. need a little bit more. <laughs> I just need like a little bit. How about we put a little water on it? Maybe that'll help some ink come out. Okay, unless there's like no ink in there. Alright, well, it's worth a shot, I guess. If it was already dead. Alright, well, looks pretty good for that. Mm. I still need to touch up um, his right eye a little bit. So you can see what I'm up to. Now, I guess the next step would be to get some colored pencils on this, um, but I'll do that after I let it dry a little bit and find a new marker. See you in a little bit, Tycho. Okay, so I did find another um, Sharpie, so I went ahead and outlined his eyes a little bit better. And now I'm going to go back in with some colored pencils and just give him a more fur-like texture. Starting with, uh, let's start with brown. Just going to sharpen this pencil. It's a brand new pencil actually. And it turns out I am using it from the wrong end, but it doesn't matter too much. There we go. Nice and sharp. Okay. Just want it to look like a little bit more fur like than um it had been looking. Also, I'll be able to get some sharper lines compared to the paintbrush. Not that I want it to be too sharp, but just a little bit sharper. Or maybe a little bit of here as well. Okay, now we are going to use white. This one I'm sharpening the correct way. Part of his fur kind of extends up into the um, brown, so definitely needed to go back over this part. He also has some uh, eyebrows like that. And of course, whiskers. They're a little hard to show up, unfortunately, but try anyway. Let's get a little bit in here. 
And of course, his ear hair. We can't forget that. Next up, I will be adding a little bit of white to his eyes, and then I will cut out the wrapping paper. Hmm, I'm not sure if this will be opaque enough. Yeah, not really. It's not really doing it, unfortunately. Okay, white paint it is. Here we go. Always nice to get some extra shine in the eyes like that. Maybe a little over towards the inner corners as well. And then I'm going to do just a little bit on his nose. Might be a little bit too much on his nose, but sometimes you can just press it and it'll take off a little bit. Okay, looks like it's time to oh, do the wrapping paper part. Not sure how well I, I explained it, but I'm going to um, cut wrapping paper around him. So this idea didn't quite work out as well as I'd hoped, so I believe I will be going for the glitter method instead. So instead, I'll be using glitter. to try and work quickly so the glue doesn't dry too fast before I can add the glitter. Okay. Let 
nice glitter. Well, I just want to do a little bit more glue just in case it dried too quickly. I don't really know how I would do two coats, so I figure I gotta do it right the first time. kind of completely covered in glitter now. But I think it'll be okay once I brush some of it off. Yay, glitter fingers! Okay. Just want to press it down to make sure the glitter is really in there. a little bit away from his face. Maybe I'll use a uh, paintbrush. To brush away the excess. I think there needs to be a little bit more glue right in this corner. There we go. Just a bit more glue tip. There we go, that's nice and shiny Tyco now. Just going to put a bit of glue and a bow here for him, like a little bow tie. Oh man, there is glitter everywhere. Not that I'm too surprised, but I always forget quite how messy it can get if you're not paying attention. So here is some silver ribbon. So I'll need to make a little bow. Here's a little bow. Just gonna even out the loops. <laughs> and I'll just glue it like that. Oh, I don't really want to write his name on the front. I guess I'll stick it on the back. I'm just gonna get some glue on this guy. Maybe just a little bit underneath in case.
Sometimes with glue, I find it easier to use the um, ends of paintbrushes. So there he's got his little bow tie. Now I just am going to make a loop up here with the same ribbon and on the back I will write Baby's First Christmas and Pico 2015 and sign my name. Okay, now that that's tied, just going to snip the ends to make them look more polished. And the front of our Tyco Christmas ornament is done. It's very sparkly. <laughs> so now on the back, I'm going to write Ooh, this is rather rough. Not quite. There's babies. Baby's first Xmas. Tycnado, potato, tornado, tomato. Tyco. Little tyke. Little tyke.
I just signed it at the bottom. Oops, <laughs> some of the glitter came off. Baby's first Xmas, Tycho 2015. Here's the front. So until I exchange presents, I'm going to go ahead and put Tycho on the tree. And I hope you enjoyed this ASMR. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing another one shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye!